Six o'clock, Monday, October 3rd, 2022, regular meeting of the Windsor Heights City Council roll call. Susan Skiris, Joseph Jones, Here. Michael Libby, Here. Lauren Campbell, Here. and Teresa Harms. Present. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, we will remove uh, 5B, the new business. B. That removal, the approval of the agenda. Second. Roll call. Susan Skiris, yes. Joseph Jones, yes. Michael Libby, yes. Lauren Campbell, yes. and Teresa Harms. Yes. Three, public forum. This is the time set aside for comments from the public on topics of city business other than those listed on the agenda. No action may be taken. Please come to the podium, state your name and address for the record, and keep your comments to no more than five minutes. Hold on. Teresa Harms, um, 1908 7th Street. Um, I would like an item um, on future agenda consideration to move Halloween to the last Saturday of the month. Thank you. Beggar's Night. Beggar's Night. <laughs> <laughs> move Halloween. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Four, consent agenda. Motion. Second. Susan Skiris. Yes. Joseph Jones. Yes. Michael Libby. Yes. Lauren Campbell. Yes. And Teresa Harms. Yes. 5A, consideration of cyber breach limit and insurance increase. Minutes. Thank you, Mr. Merritt's coverage was offered from ICAP to the city. Uh, this year at a much increased uh, premium amount. The benefits that were outlined by ICAP on this uh, were researched by both uh, Chad and Travis, and we are recommending that the city decline some this additional insurance coverage. Chad, to answer any of your questions, we got into a pretty deep um, discussion with ICAP about this, and then Travis followed up with ICAP and they agreed with Chad's analysis, so we're very comfortable Yes, please. So moved. Second. Any further discussions or questions? Hearing none, roll call. Susan Skiris. Yes. Joseph Jones. Yes. Michael Libby. Yes. Lauren Campbell. Yes. And Teresa Harms. Yes. 5B, consideration of the first reading of ordinance number 2208 and ordinance correcting a scrivener's error in the code, code of ordinances for the city of Windsor Heights. Motion. Second. Actually, um, this came back from when, as you can see, Aaron wrote this for us. Um, I think the what we did is we wrote chapter and it should have said subsection. So that's all it is. I did speak to our codifier at the conference. And I think going forward, whenever we do an ordinance, we're just going to send it to them so they can cross-reference it for us so we don't run into these in the future. So that's it. Any further discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Susan Skiris, yes. Joseph Jones, yes. Michael Libby, yes. Lauren Campbell, yes. and Teresa Harms. Yes. 5C, consider waiving the second and third readings, readings of ordinance number 2208 and move to adopt. Okay. Second. Discussion. Hearing none, roll call. Susan Skiris, yes. Joseph Jones, yes. Michael Libby, yes. Lauren Campbell, yes. and Teresa Harms. Yes. Uh, 6A reports. I have to play the title and put it in the next packet. Ms. Harms. Uh, yep, attended the filming conference uh, this last week in Waterloo and had the opportunity to connect with um, folks from our city and then lots of. that we had in the ARA meetings like last 
behavior um, that are now um, providing services or engage with our community. So it's always nice to, to follow up because we don't have, you know, FaceTime with those folks, you know, all in an ongoing basis. So um, that was nice. The sessions were great. There was a lot of people there. Um, so I've got a little write up of um, and share just so everybody can know what the different uh, sessions were. All Festival was a huge success. Thanks to our sponsors, volunteers, city staff, and council for attending the one day to our event as well. Great. We had a little bit of rain Friday night, but that didn't stop uh, people from coming out, and Saturday was gorgeous. Um, but we had the Bravo board meeting. It's the start of a new fiscal year, um, and they have um, a few changes in their organization. And since May, Bravo has been working with the American for Arts on Arts and Economic Prosperity SIC, the AEP SICs. So um, there's a couple of Windsor Heights organizations that might qualify for some of those funds. Um, so I'll send, I'll put up um, information to everyone on council. If there's other groups that you can identify, um, that would be great. And uh, like Tracy said, spent a uh, little time this last week in Waterloo at the League of City Conference and um, had a good time and learned a lot of things. Got to talk to some of our existing vendors and um, get to enjoy this thing. Thank you. I uh, also attended the Iowa League of Cities and uh, I was able to make connections with so many people that I knew from all across the state, uh, people who are in uh, leadership positions from towns as small as uh, 361 in Warville, Iowa, with uh, Mayor uh, Donnie Hobbs, uh, to Tiffany O'Donnell, who is the mayor of Cedar Rapids. Had some uh, great conversations with people around the tables. I made it a point to sit with different people at every uh, single event that I was at so that I could uh, uh, learn more. And I did learn that uh, the, the issues that we deal with are not unlike any other small town or large city housing workforce and a growing concern among city leaders about the Iowa legislature and home rule <clears throat> and uh, doing away with those things that are uh, very key to our existence. So it was a, it was a great conference. I learned a lot. And I'm also uh, grateful that Adam and uh, Travis went because I heard, I saw them both at they were having a great time and so proud that they were able to go and be with us as well. Um, we recently had a really good economic development committee meeting. I hope that some of the things that were discussed there get discussed amongst the city council. Um, I think there's a lot of good potential redevelopment that's happening. Um, start tomorrow. <clears throat> also, let's look at the city's conference. That's one minute. I know this is a surprise to everyone, but I also went to the League of Cities event. So uh, Learn Lots was able to uh, talk with people from various different cities and uh, the, the work sessions were, were fun and um, kind of informational. Um, on Friday, we have our uh, Hocus Pocus movies in the park. It's gonna be a little cold. So um, thinking about maybe looking into hot chocolate for the night, just because it's supposed to get down to like 30s. Um, so kind of debating on whether or not we bring that inside or if we make everybody bring blankets and bundle up, um, feel free to send me your thoughts on that. I'm up for, for suggestions. Um, and then I am working on Veterans Day. So um, get your, your letters ready. Um, where we have our luncheon uh, the 11th. So um, asking everybody to, if they want to write out anything to go in the packets for the veterans, um, I'll be putting those together like the week of November 7th, 8th, 9th, somewhere in there. Um, so I'll send out a reminder beforehand so that uh, everybody has, make sure that we get what, what we want, but want to kind of give you the time to, to think about what you would like to say. So. Item seven, closed session. City Council will convene into a closed session pursuant to Iowa Code 21-2-1-1. Uh, 
5, subsection I, to evaluate the professional competency of an individual whose appointment, hiring, performance, or discharge is being considered when necessary to prevent needless and irreparable injury. That individual's reputation and that individual requests a closed session motion. Mr. Mayor, might I have my chance to give a report? Oh, I'm sorry, Dennis. That's okay. Uh, the only thing I wanted to do is support because I wanted to update the council. I talked to Cassandra Halls today and she gave me an update on the uh, surveys. We have 194 responses from the residents, 17 from the staff group and four from the stakeholder survey. So she has requested that I send out a reminder to all the staff to fill out the surveys, which I did this afternoon. And if I could pass on a request to the mayor to send out a reminder to the stakeholder group by email to get them. Our new deadline is October 14th. Uh, most people in Windsor Heights should have received a postcard mailer today to remind them of that. And there's also an article mentioned uh, on the Friday newsletter, which they should see in their mailbox at that time. I love it. It looks great. I, this is awesome. This is a great piece of art. Yeah, I suspect that you'd like us to also share this on social media. Yes, and yeah, if you can on your own personal page, it's great. Um, and has been doing a pretty good job on picking it up. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Motion. Second. Here. Roll call. Susan Skiris, yes. Joseph Jones, yes. Michael Libby, yes. Lauren Campbell, yes. and Teresa Harms. Yes. We have to go in close session. Okay. I have to sit waiting for the sign. <laughs> 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 